Welcome to the Adam Sharp channel and this is the Learning Coco Study part number 11. We will be continuing learning the tiles. In the last part, which is part number 10, uh, I demonstrated that how you can load up the tile map on your screen. But the pro and let's actually run that. This is the same code as we wrote in part number 10. And you can see right now uh, our tile is actually displayed in the iPhone but the problem is that it really do anything and we wanted to make a vertical vertical scheme okay right now it's just static we know that if I over over here there are like lakes and more trees over here on ground because we built it in the last example right so let's actually do that let's go ahead and create uh, or move it forward run action so again, map uh, in HCC node, and it can run, you know, different. Uh, so I'm just going to re run this action, which is uh, recover, and I will say CC move by, and add duration. Here you can control the time it will take to uh, vertical, and then by how much. We're not scrolling on the horizontal, so that's why the X position or the X axis is, and we are scrolling by 32, but then 32 pixels, which will, or 32 actually means the uh, one tile set time, okay? If you are, if you want to move faster, like if you're in some sort of a car racing game, and you want to use some, I don't know, press a button and say, turbocharge the car so that it goes faster, this is a value to change, minus 32, just uh, change it to, I don't know, the next one, which is 64. Okay. Let's run this now. And you will see that all of a sudden, your tile map to move in a vertical direction. It looks pretty good, right? Your tile map is moving. See, this is a ground that we created in the last example. Uh, this is a lake. And, well, what happened? A tile map actually got finished and that's good right there are a couple of options that you can take at this point first of all make a larger tile map right now we're using a 44 and 44 width you can go and create a tile map of uh, width and 100 height now 100 and 100 is a pretty good tile map and once you reach the end once you know that it's going to end at a certain point you can just end the game or end the level okay the next or the second way that you can achieve this is by routing the same tile map again and again okay so we're going to do that for our you know our small example and i'm going to just say schedule over here scheduler will be fired oops uh setup hmm okay let's create uh, oh, not set up, step. What am I doing? Step, all right. Let's create this method, which is step method. Uh, here we go. Uh, we have, and uh, what is it named? Step, cc time, dt. Hmm, am I doing anything wrong? Okay, here we go. So step method is fired basically continuously throughout the uh, basically unless I call a unless on it and we do want that we want to call this particular method okay now I I can simply say if uh, map dot position dot y is less than eight hundred and I'll tell you that why or how I got this eight hundred magical number but let's say map and section ccp comma minus 32 which is which was our initial starting and then repeat this again okay let's run now and now you will notice that when you re end of the tile map hmm it's kind of weird okay hold on a sec am i Ah, it should be minus 800, 800. All right, let's run it again. There we go. 
so it's running uh, and you can see now you can see uh, the ground which is like a brown ground and then uh, trees and then the lake okay and uh, just watch it carefully and so we restarted our tile map again from the beginning one tip that I would like to give you in this case is if you're doing this make sure that the strap and the end of the map is same if you have placed trees in a some fashion in the, at the start of the map just try to cut for the end of the map or end of the one screen basically this will uh, give kind of like an illusion that uh, no transition no transition took place and you just entered into a new you know I mean the transition will be very rather than a flick or something now how did I get this number uh, a grid okay so let me actually replace that with some data and if I can get it this right because it's a little bit of question minus one of course we have to multiply by one and then what I have is I will say map dot uh, size or dot map size dot height and um, dot tile size dot and we can subtract 80 okay so map dot map size dot height is 40 in this case multiply map dot tile size dot height which is 32 which gives you 1280 1280 uh, we want to change it um, minus 480 is that we want to change it for the screen running in the port all right and to go you know you can make the necessary adjustments and then we so it will come out to be negative 800 in this case all right that's pretty much it so in this particular screencast or tutorial that how we can move the tile maps how we can make the tile maps worth scrolling and uh, how we can repeat the tile map okay thank you very much i hope you like this